So now everybody's saying you have to use AIR. If you don't, you're gonna get left behind. And then those art skills you've been honing your whole life, ah, no one cares about it, right? Well, that is total garbage, and you're gonna learn why. Welcome to the Art Mentor, my name is Sean, and if you have fallen for the hype and hysteria, if you're feeling pushed into this, then this video is gonna provide some clarity for you so that you understand why all this exists, what the misinformation is, and what the reality of everything is, and also, what is nobody telling you about AIR? So make sure you understand this. Have you all heard the slogan from AI users? Adapt or die. If you don't adapt or die, then you're gonna get left behind. Y'all, I just need to expose this. This is the most brutal manipulation slogan I have ever heard for any supposed artistic media. When nothing else that has ever come into existence has ever existed with such an awful fear-mongering tone to it. First off, what are you adapting to? For whom and to whose benefit? The only people that are benefiting are tech bro billionaires. The late and great Kim Jong-gi did not succumb to all the pressure to go into digital art when everybody was saying you have to go into digital art or you're gonna get left behind. And the man is a legend. He is one of the best ever. And if you want to join AIR because you're afraid of being left behind, then that's all it is. It is just fear mongering from people that want everyone to go along with what they want. It's herd mentality. You don't wanna be a sheep, be a wolf instead. Be like my man Kim Jong-yi and follow what you want to do because you're going to stand out. Otherwise, you're going to become mediocre. See how that works? So when you talk about why people get into AR, one of the main things that people will talk about is for efficiency, right? They're going to say, well, you can create so much more or you're going to produce ideas that don't exist or you're going to be able to take your art to a level that you don't have time to do. And the one thing I need to expose about this is that this is pure scarcity mindset and it is at its root, it's exploitation. It's just really great marketing though. I got to give props to the AI companies, to the tech industry because they really sold it to y'all because they are just playing to everything that you don't have. Oh, you don't have real art skills no problem and i will solve that oh you don't have time and i will solve that instead what's going to happen here though in reality is that it's actually just a predatory marketing scheme it designed to exploit every single weakness that you feel so every single time that somebody said oh you can't be an artist or you can't be a professional artist or you're never going to make money with your art or you're just not that good enough or you're just too slow it's reinforcing every single one of those which is predatory and manipulative and if you're really seeing through this, then you're going to recognize that that is not the true way to get yourself to an authentic level. So my friend, I just want to ask you this. Do you want to be copy paste derivative or do you want to be original? Because if you're an artist, then you seek originality and you seek authentic versions of what you can do, not synthetic versions of what you wish you could do. See the difference there? Now all of this creates a really nasty dehumanization effort that you really have to recognize, so follow me up on this. What the tech industry wants to do instead is they want to produce these dehumanization efforts that make it look like artists are not artists, but instead, what do you become? You become a good worker. Don't you wanna be that? Don't you want that on your desk someday? You're a good worker for creating that AI image right there. So instead of you actually being somebody who is a liberatory professional, somebody that is actually producing liberatory effects through your efforts, through you living your life, through you living your passions. No, my friend, that's not going to be the case. What we're trying to do is through AI is just to oversimplify, just to reductively look at art as boom, it's just a product. Like it's just a hamburger at McDonald's and y'all, we can't do that. And you got to see through that. So if you're an artist and you haven't looked at it this way, I really encourage you to, because there's so much more that you have to gain short-term and long-term by you focusing on your passion. Contrary to this though, is all you're doing is you are feeding capital interest. You're making other people rich for no personal gain or short-term gain right now because we are currently in the Wild West phase of AI development. Now here's one thing that AI users kind of blow up over, but I'm just gonna be real and honest with you. Whenever anybody jumps into AI, it always comes down to three reasons. They feel that they want some attention. They want some clout. They wanna produce a product. They wanna produce their project. They've had this image locked in their head for however amount of time and they never wanted to learn how to do it. And most importantly, they wanna save a buck. So all of this just comes down to this attitude of, cause I want to. It always comes down to a place of total entitlement. 
if you feel that you are entitled to stealing other people's work, to inauthentically synthesizing images that are not your own, that aren't even your own ideas, they're just other people's ideas quilted together and presented as your own ideas through your prompts and through your light touch-ups, that's not authentically yours. If you feel that you're allowed to do that, that you're allowed to cheat people, or if you just have this mindset of, well, that's just the way it is, so we all have to adapt, that is complete entitlement because you're just self-justifying something that you know at your core is totally wrong, but you're trying to self-preserve. And look, self-preservation, it's at the core of being a human being. But when you're doing it at other people's expense, if you're doing it through immoral roots, that's wrong. And it's pretty undeniable, isn't it? Not even attempting to try and gain more favor with the AI community. So what you need to know is every single time you are using any type of prompt engine for any reason is that unfortunately for you, friend, you are complicit in thievery. And generally this gets combated with the idea of, oh, well, it's just for fun or it's out there. So I thought I might try it anyways. Now what this should really cycle back to is y'all, why are we listening to industry for how we should conduct ourselves morally as human beings. Just to give you some historical context here, y'all, industry are the same people that brought you things like child labor, gender discrimination, sexual discrimination, oh, and slavery too. And all of those things were really great for the industry. They saved a lot of people a lot of money and some people probably even had fun with them, but that didn't make it right. So why in the world are you trying to look for capital interest and saying we should march along to their drum because they're telling us it's right. And for anybody that wasn't an artist that now thinks they're an artist because of AI, what did artists ever do to you? Because we literally gave you the world. Everything that you see, everything that you experience has been created by artists. And you never were locked away from that. You were never disempowered. You were never disenfranchised from doing that, but you made the choice not to do it. And that's not our fault. So don't try and steal from us to justify your own self-interest. It's wrong. How in the world do you justify that? As an art education professional for over a decade, as somebody who has studied, mentored, and worked with professional artists for a long time, I'm gonna make this assertion that if you are into AI art, you are oppositional to art education, actually learning about art. AI is going to be the new artistic crutch. Now this is now gonna join the ranks of things like art block and especially art style. So what we're gonna see here, as AI becomes more popular, if it's allowed to and if people accept it for what it is, then art skills are going to be on a steady decline. And what that's gonna produce is a lame amount of excuses of people saying, oh, well, I'll just use this program or oh, this program can't do that, so that's just the best, that's just the way it is, that's all I can do, I'm not able to do this, uh, what's that plugin for that, what program do I use for that? Instead of you actually learning hard art skills, which to be honest, those are never going out of style. You're never gonna see hard art skills disappear. In fact, if you are building real art skills at any point in your art career, regardless of how terrible you think it looks right now, regardless of how inferior you think it is compared to an industry standard or your personal standard, you are doing so much better than everybody that is relying on something else. And I say that it is a crutch because what happens when you take out a crutch? You fall down. So if AI were to shift, change, disappear, or it were to be regulated like it's inevitably going to be, then what's gonna happen? Then your precious technology is gonna go away and you are no longer going to be an artist. But the way that it works for real art is that it doesn't matter. I am a digital painter as you see me doing right now. However though, I can also paint in traditional media. I, I can also draw with traditional media. I can also sculpt with traditional media. It is a set of transferable skills. AI is a disruptor to that. And if you are really good at AI and you're really great at prompting, you are worthless for everything else because you don't understand art. You only understand the theory and theory is nothing without application. Now, one of the things that I always want to steer artists towards are what do you want to do in order to actually be better? And what I believe you're doing, friend, is you're asking yourself the wrong questions. Instead of you asking yourself, how can AI make me better? No, friend, how can you make you better? What do you need to do to improve? What do you need to do to shake yourself up, to get yourself outside of your comfort zone? Y'all, the one thing I want you to do is view AI as a competitor. Ever since AI came onto the scene, I've been like, cool, let's square up and let's see what I can do versus you. And it's pushed me not to feel bad about myself, not to feel inferior about what I can do because I think I can do better than AI can do. And I'm not even the best. I'm not even a top tier artist. I'm being really real and humble with y'all on that one. 
There are so many more beasts and monsters in the art world, the AI will never compete with them and it will always be playing catch up. So instead of you also trying to play catch up, instead of you trying to push out creative ideas that aren't creative, that are just derivative and stolen, instead of doing that, y'all, ask yourself this, where are your weaknesses? Where are your flaws? Where do you need to invest more time? The number one thing about humanity is that we always value hard work. We always put on a huge pedestal the people that will go further and push themselves harder and to do unique things that the rest of us won't do. And artists have always been that 1% of people that try harder than everybody else. Not that we're born better than anybody else, but we'll literally go through efforts, go through labors, to make themselves better people. So make sure that you remember that and keep that focus on because it's gonna push you ahead. Now let's take a look at one of the most combative stances that AI users will say, which is that AI is not a replacement, it is a tool. I need to reject that though because AI is not the tool, the user is the tool. Follow me on this. In a traditional art process, my pencil would be my tool. This cannot do anything unless I tell it what to do. However though, in AI's world, you are the tool because AI can do everything and you can't do anything without it. You doing minimal amounts of work, you doing the absolute bare minimum, just some words, just some prompts, or you put in some really cheesy looking drawing and upscaling it up, who's doing more work? Who actually lays claim to that creative effort? Because it's not you, my friend. You can't claim ownership to something that you didn't actively participate in the creation of it. That's not how creativity works. It's not how imagination works. And I would dare you to go ahead and point out any sources and education or art that claim that because I can cite dozens of them. What's really essential for y'all to understand the fairest way to look at this is that AI is not a tool, it is a parasite because it literally leeches off of all of the foundations of every single art media that came before it. And literally no other art tool, no other art media has ever functioned like this. Like for example, when photography first came on the scene, AI, I know you love to compare it to that. Photography didn't need oil painting to be good. Even Photoshop, it didn't need traditional media in order to be good. Artists had to go ahead and transfer their skills into that. Where AI, all it is, it's coder speak. All it is, is you're learning to talk to a computer and you're getting some type of output back. That's all it is. It's really reductive. And to be honest, you don't learn anything about art at all through it. All you're learning is vocabulary, which is the lowest level of actual learning. Go ahead and look it up. And AI users love to narcissistically talk about themselves as directors, which is ludicrous to be honest, because all you're doing is again, you're being a great worker, good for you. Instead, if you wanna be a creative professional, what you need to do is you need to upscale what you are doing. Now, the most beautiful part about all this though, is that everybody that's championing AI, I'm just gonna let you know, what's inevitably gonna happen with this tool, as you call it, is that it's just gonna be sold to companies, they're gonna perfect their algorithms, and then they're not gonna care about you because they're gonna shut down everything or they're just gonna leave it as is at some rudimentary point and they're gonna say, cool, we got what we need, thanks so much, now we use the users. Can't you see that happening? So artists, what do you do? What's your way forward? How do you persevere through this? The number one thing that you wanna recognize y'all is you need to proceed with passion forward. If you are not actually actively participating in what you love to do and what you feel you were born to do and what you feel compelled to do, in making artwork how you authentically like to make it, then you are not going to be successful. You're going to be miserable. You're going to be a good worker that is only good at spitting out images as fast as possible for people that aren't you or for you that's gonna be derivative of somebody else that you wish that you were. So instead, you should only focus on what you love to do. That will actually set you apart. And there's no reason in this day and age why you can't dive into what you really love to do and focus on that and throw your life into it, except for your own insecurities. And you need to combat those insecurities by looking at what is your future potential. Fact, most people wish by the time that they die that they lived a life authentic to what they loved and not playing scared. And just to be honest, AI is just gonna exacerbate that. It's not gonna propel anybody forward into it. It's just gonna dilute a lot of people into thinking that they did. So be warned, because I want you to pursue your passion because you deserve it and there's a great future for you. So at this point, you might be thinking, well, AI is just so big and it's so tough. And how am I ever going to beat that, Sean? Well, y'all, I made an entire video about every single thing that you can do to level up your art and level up your skills. And you can find it right here.